Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a Rockford resident and I frequently camp in the Rockford area and elsewhere with my five and my four-year-old. And today we are going to be making an easy recipe to make over the campfire, which is chili. So to make this chili, you want to make sure that you have wood that you brought yourself, not that you collected in the woods. You want to also make sure that you have all the ingredients that you need, plus any of the tools you might need. And then you're also going to need a fire safe pot and a grill or a grate of some sort to set over the fire. So first I added butter and I sauteed the diced onions and minced garlic. And then I add the raw meat, which I put more directly over the heat. And we will brown the meat and then remove from the direct heat so that we're not overcooking anything and add our vegetables. I add the diced tomatoes and I add all of the diced tomatoes and it's liquid to serve as the broth portion of the chili. A really important thing to make sure you're doing when you're cooking outside is actually walking through the recipe in your head before you get to your location because um, sometimes you might forget things like a can opener or you may not realize that something needs to be done that's easier to do at home like for example rinsing and draining the kidney beans. So one of the nice things about making chili is that it's a really adaptable recipe. You can make it as spicy or as mild as you want. My recipe is a variation of Cincinnati chili. So I put in dark chocolate as well as some cinnamon. Now that we added all of our ingredients and our spices, we're gonna let this simmer over the fire for about a half an hour, maybe a little longer, depending on how hot the flame stays and then it will be ready. Now that we have our food simmering, we're gonna go over a few reminders for safety. Um, first of all, make sure that you are getting local wood. You can pick these up from gas stations or grocery stores. And then you wanna make sure that you're always following the safety instructions on your fire starters or any other uh, fire materials that you might be handling. Finally, you wanna make sure that you bring a trash bag so that you're cleaning up all your waste and packing out. And then you wanna also make sure that you thoroughly extinguish your fire before leaving. For a list of locations to find a place to cook outside if you don't have a fire pit in your backyard, you can go to 815outside.com. And thank you so much for joining us on this uh, outdoor cooking adventure. This is one of my favorite ways to connect with nature and I hope that you enjoy it too. Mm -hmm.